Okay, so today we want to talk a little bit about one of my students, Johnny. Johnny's two and a half years old. He's in my preschool class. He's a very loving young young boy. Johnny has hit all of his physical developmental milestones. So he's right there with all the other kids. He, he can run, jump, climb. I've seen him do it all. I know this when he's roaming around the room a lot of times he'll just look out the window and stare. Uh, I've noticed him picking up this phone and he always puts it back on the on the top again even if we if, if, if we leave it off he always puts it back on I, I don't know why he does that but he just seems to have some kind of pet peeve or something like that when he's playing with the toys he puts everything in his mouth I don't think there's a toy in this room that he hasn't put in his mouth before um, also with the toys a lot of times I'll notice him like lining them up um, it, it's really not a functional behavior he doesn't really play with it or for the intended purpose, but a lot of times he'll just line up the like horses or whatever animals are there, cars. He, he does it with just about anything. Uh, when he's by himself, he likes to spin in circles. He'll, he'll just spin. Sometimes he'll make some sounds, but besides those sounds, a little babbling, there's really not much language. He's, his communication is very weak. We've never actually heard Johnny say one word, even when we, we just try to see if he'll copy our own language, giving him instructions like to stand up or sit down. He, he, he's not able to repeat it. Uh, we've gone ahead and we've had his vision and his hearing checked to see if there's any deficits there, and as far as we know, that's, that's not a problem. There seems to be, everything seems to be fine. Is non-compliant to the directions we give him. Uh, simple directions, uh, sitting down, standing up, come here. He really doesn't respond to us when with our verbal directions. We have to physically go, make him go through the body motions of standing up or sit down. Some of the reinforcers for Johnny are, he likes to be held, he likes to be coddled, and there's a, there's a few snacks he really enjoys a lot of the times. He has french fries for lunch, and he just loves french fries. He'll just stuff his mouth until we quit giving him french fries. He just eats. He'll eat all day if you let him. So so that is kind of interesting that he, he eats so much, especially when it's french fries or, or some other crunchy food like that. He has a couple behaviors that we really just don't know how to deal with right now. The... Uh, one of them is head banging. When he gets dropped off early in the morning, Johnny is uh, banging his head against the wall sometimes and even against me and some of the other students. Usually in the mornings he settles down after breakfast, but there's really we really can't control him in the mornings. He has tantrums and he's crying the whole time and I'm really worried that the other kids might get hurt because of the head banging. The other thing I've noticed is his non-engagement. Uh, when we have struct structured activities, like we read a story together, we go over the alphabet, he's not really looking at me when I'm talking. He, he rarely makes eye contacts, and even sometimes he'll just get up and wander around the room, start playing with something, and I'll give him directions and he just ig ignores me, but I really don't think he's, li I don't know if he's not listening or he doesn't understand. But usually I have to go and get him and physically restrain him and bring him back to the group. Those are just a, a, a couple of the things that we've noticed. All right, so a little more about the head banging, which is the uh, behavior that I'm most concerned with. In the morning after he's dropped off, he likes to lie down on the floor and throw his head backwards. And he does this several times until I approach him and stop him from doing this and even after I make him stop he he still throws a tantrum he's still crying and uh, it's just not safe for him to be banging his head it's not it's not a ferocious head bang I don't think it injures him mostly it's just in the morning when he head bangs uh, 
after he gets breakfast, he's usually much calmer, and it's pretty rare to see him headbang after after breakfast in the morning. So uh, I would say it's pretty much isolated to from first thing when he gets here till you know about an hour later when we eat breakfast. There's certain times that Johnny doesn't headbang. I've never seen him headbang during breakfast or lunch. Um, those are the only two times really that he never had bangs and most of the time in the afternoon he's pretty good but there are times that it's happened before. A lot of the times when people come in in and out of the room, other teachers to get supplies or maybe my supervisor comes in, he, he doesn't do real well with people coming in and out. When they come in he's totally shocked, he throws a tantrum, I've even seen him head bang some more and when they leave it's even worse. Um, He's, he's just not good at all with transitions. I haven't noticed any allergies or things that really bother him or, you know, add to the head banging. Sometimes he gets eczema and will apply cream, but for but besides that, there's not really any other medications he's on. Uh, when he head bangs, sometimes he'll, well, most of the time, really, he'll bang his feet on the floor and throw his hands in the air and he'll cry and it's just a big tantrum until he gets what he wants. But most of the time when he headbangs, breakfast is served like right after it so that'll usually get him get him happy again, get him eating and we all know he loves to eat. Uh, when people come in and out of the room, the other time we really notice the headbanging, it, it's a little harder to comfort him. Uh, he really likes to be coddled and we try to do that for his own comfort and he does calm down but it's it's not as quick as when as when he gets his breakfast sometimes when people come in and out of the room and after they leave he'll tantrum and headbang and one thing that has worked is that they re-enter the room and they are the ones that cuddle him and you know they they hug him and give him support and that's one way we deal with it of course, at some point they must leave again, and oftentimes he'll tantrum and headbang again. So it, it's really a cycl cyclical process of them leaving and coming back. It, it's it's so.